Hi everyone, my name is Dylan, and today I'd like to show you five very simple capabilities that will really open up your designing experience in GoDaddy Studio, even though they're very easy to overlook. And I say this because even though I've been using the app for many years, some of these things took me weeks or even months to figure out on my own. So I'm hoping these tips will save you that time. All right, so one question we get a lot is how to create a line. And you'll notice there isn't a dedicated line tool in the app, uh, but there is the shapes library here at the bottom. So what you'll do is you'll select a rectangle. I'm just gonna quickly make that the color of my text. And then you can modify the shape of this rectangle, shifting the width or length to whatever you desire. And that's how simple it is to create a line. Okay, now something else you could look at is to access the graphics library and search for line. And here you're likely to find some more expressive variations of a line. And uh, that's another way to do it. All right, now let's look at project folders. And if you're anything like me, if you've been using the app for a while, your project folder tends to sprawl and it gets harder and harder to find specific projects that you're looking for. Now what I didn't realize is that there's a specific folders menu up at the top here. You've got your main projects and then your specific folders menu. So I've been getting into the habit of saving my projects into folders. And to do that, you simply hold down, the contextual menu will pop up and you can simply add to folder, select the uh, folder you'd like it to go in. And it's really that simple. And by the way, with this contextual menu, that's the same way that you would start to delete projects from your folder if it's starting to get a bit much. There's projects you don't need anymore. You simply tap delete. And once it does that, you then have the option to potentially select a few others to uh, batch delete projects uh, at a time. Keeping your folders in order is definitely gonna save you time navigating between projects. And it's not only the projects you've worked on that can be added to folders. If you look in the template feed, something that a lot of people overlook is in the bottom right corner of every single template, there's this little plus icon. And if you tap on that, it enables you to save that template to a folder and you can work on it at a later stage. Now, while we're organizing things, let's get our fonts in order too. I find that because there are so many fonts to choose from in GoDaddy Studio and you can just add them to your collection with a single tap to try them out, uh, my favorites tend to get buried under dozens and dozens of other options that I've just uh, tried out once or twice. So the next time you're in your fonts tray, you wanna tap on this little uh, arrow at the left-hand side and that'll take you to your font library, which you may know well. But uh, what I'd like to draw your attention to is this tab at the top where it says downloaded. Now that's a selection of the fonts that I've downloaded into my collection already. And at the top right hand corner of this box, you'll see there's an edit button. So if you tap on that, you can start to either delete some of the fonts that you're not using anymore. Let's just uh, randomly select a few. And then the ones that you are using and you'd like them to be at the front of your tray for easy access, you can simply drag these to the top. And in so doing, you can start to customize your font collection, making it a lot easier to find the ones you use the most. Another small detail that you might overlook in the template feed is that some of these templates have a very small number in the top right hand corner, uh, like this one, for example. And what that refers to is the number of pages in the project. So these are multi-page templates designed for things like stories and carousels. If you are specifically looking to create a multi-page project with a consistent design style, then I would suggest searching for pages in the search bar of the template feed, and you'll see all of these templates now are multi-page projects. And again, just check the small little number in the top right-hand corner to see exactly how many pages there are in that project. And then one more tiny little button you might overlook is in the graphics library. So you might find a collection that catches your eye and what you can do is then uh, save either that entire collection or just an individual graphic within the collection to your curated set of graphics. So you'll see here at the top, I can tap this plus icon underneath the name of the collection and that's going to add that whole pack to my saved collections. Or I might just find one individual element that I really like and I can just uh, do the same and add that individual element. Now, when I return to my graphics library, you'll see I have my own collected graphics. 
And these are all the individual graphics that I've collected, making it really easy to find that little squiggle or doodle that you used a few days ago. And uh, similarly, I have my collected collections. And uh, these are all my favorite graphic packs that I use the most. And having them saved in this way makes them very easy to find and access. GoDaddy Studio is a free app for iOS, Android, and web that you can download right now. All the links you need are in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and please remember to subscribe if you want to keep learning about GoDaddy Studio. I'll see you next time.